Hello everyone. Thanks for coming out here today. We really do appreciate you. Thanks for supporting us. It's Peak Network here. We are here to keep you updated with the latest and most authentic happenings in our country. So we really do appreciate um, your continuous um, support. Um, the news we have today is for Ondo State. We all know that the Ondo and the Edo governorship election is just um, around the corner. And um, the news we've got right now is regarding um, um, the kiosk in APC over united opposition um to akere dolo we know akere dolo is the um the current governor and he's uh, uh he wants to come back again for another term we'll go into the details and find out what's going on what's um staring up that chaos i mean on those states we know what's happening in edo as well and all of this is apc wow <laughs> really interesting but um we'll, we'll get straight um, into the details but please before we do if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel do click on the subscribe button down below and don't forget to give us a thumbs up hit on the like button we really do appreciate you thank you once again for your continuous um, support so right let's go straight um, into the main details of the news on do 2020 kiosk in apc over united opposition to akere dolo the October 2020 governorship election in Ondo State will not only be a three-horse trade, but also throw up surprises. One of the aspirants in the ruling All Progressive Congress, APC, may contest in a different party, going by the politicking that is playing out in the party, especially within the Unity Forum. But before the July primaries, of the two leading political parties, the APC and Opposition People's Democratic Party, PDP, endorsement gimmicks by aspirants is tearing their parties apart. Only last week, aspirants from Ondo South in the PDP, namely Dr. Eddie Olafeso, Honorable Banji Okunomo, Senator Bolawaji Kunlere, Chief Bamidele Akingboye, and Honorable John Ola Mafo tussled who, over who should be the consensus candidate from the zone. Olafeso Kunlere and Akingboye are from Okitikupa Aziz of the zone, while Okunomo Mafo and Ebiseni are from the oil rich Ilaje Aziz. Happenings, however, in Ondo APC is worrisome. And if care is not taken, may spell doom for the party. It is a divided house, or better still, a party fighting itself. The Unity Forum, a group out to stop Governor Olawarotimi Akira Dolo's APC second term ambition, by all means, and led by a former deputy governor, Alaji Ali Olanusi became disunited after the endorsement of a former governorship aspirant, Chief Olusola Oke, as a consensus candidate to tackle Akere Dolo. In fact, the center has refused to hold since endorsement. The plan didn't receive the blessing of many aspirants and party chieftain within the group Many political observers knew from the onset that the gladiators were only playing to the gallery and won't let go of their individual ambitions. Their common enemy was Akere Dolo and they needed to skin him alive. Two out of the seven members of the screening committees set up to pick a sole candidate amongst the ten aspirants, Professor Shola Ehindero, secretary, and Shola Gbade, uh, Amodeni have disowned the report that produced OK, while some elders in another group within the party, known as the Mandate Agenda, have asked the chairman of the Unity Group, Olanusi. While some of the aspirants allege that the committee members were induced to pick OK, the committee chairman, Senator Yele Omongua, owned up that the shared only 1.2 million naira given to them by different aspirants in the process of carrying out their duties and nothing more paved the way for the emergence of OK. Many of the aspirants, party leaders, senators and committee members have insisted that the emergence of OK was undemocratic, will not stand and vow to pick nominations from when the final whistle is blown by the electoral umpire. 
the secretary of the screening committee, Ehindaru, did more harm to the report of adoption when he said no consensus candidate had been elected by the committee for which I am secretary. It neither emanates from the accredited secretary's office, nor does it reflect the true deliberations and conclusion of the members of the screening committee. Rather, the fake report is inspired, sponsored, and programmed by known and disguised enemies of both the Unity Forum and the APC in Ondo State, and is designed to tactically distract the attention and focus of our collective efforts. Those against OK adoption include Prince Dakpo, Adelega, Dr. Shegun Abraham, Mr. Adelami Olayide, Mrs. Jomoke Anifowose, Mr. Ife Oyedele, Prince Jimmy, Odimayo, and Senator Ajayi Borofis. They were unanimous that the screening committee and the group leader Olanusi compromised and alleged that four of the seven members of the screening committee had been bribed. Anifowose and Abraham described the adoption as unacceptable, adding that the aspirants at their last virtual meeting agreed that the APC nomination for the 2020 election in Ondo is zoned to the north and not to the southern area of the state. Udimayo said, I did not agree to any endorsement and there was no decision according to the secretary of the committee that anyone had been adopted. So the report of the endorsement is fraudulent. Adelegan said he was not a party to any meeting or decision process to announce a consensus candidate. To the best of our understanding, the other aspirants are still discussing amongst themselves on the possibility of a consensus candidate. Our expectation is that by July 2020, an APC candidate will emerge from a former primary and will move on to emerge as the governor of Ondo State in October of 2020 by God's grace. Borofis, who is the deputy Senate majority leader and who was accused by another group within the party, the Unity Mandate Agenda, of playing politics of divide and rule to frustrate the Unity Forum and working on the ground to cause a crisis in order for him to emerge as a neutral candidate to run, said the Unity Forum has no consensus candidate. Aspirants should start preparation for the primary of the party. A statement by his media aide, Kayode Fakui, said, the political tendencies in Unity Forum could not agree on critical process that could have led to the adoption of a consensus candidate. Recently, aspirants participated in a zoning process and majority agreed that Ondo North should produce the consensus candidate. Meanwhile, the Unity Mandate and Gender, through its spokesperson, Baba Tokbe Abisola, says, OK is the only candidate that can oust Akere Dolo in the July governorship primary. In another development, the chairman of the screening committee, Omagunwa, justified the emergence of OK as a consensus candidate, explaining that the aspirants promised to abide by anybody the committee used its wisdom to select. The committee had an interface with the aspirant for two days and all the aspirants agree to support whoever that is choosing. The seven-man committee relocated to a church where the decision was reached to pick Chief O.K., he said. The secretary of the committee, Professor Shola Ehindaru, wanted a technocrat governor while the only woman in the committee picked Mrs. Jumoke Ajasi Ani Fowose. All the aspirants are competent, but I agree within the majority that said Chief O.K. The secretary left without signing. The only woman in our midst also did not sign. The aspirants told us to do it the way it pleases us and they will support whoever emerges. We followed the mind of the public. A politician should wait for his time. One of the aggrieved governorship contenders, Olarewaju Kazim, 
Meanwhile, ask fellow aspirants to shelter their sword and accept the choice of Chief Olushola Oke as the consensus candidate of the group. Kazim said the call became imperative in order to put in place a strong candidate in the party's primary. Group's main goal of installing an APC governor instead of Mr. Olawaro Timi Akeredolo will be defeated if the aspirants and members of the Unity Forum disagree over the candidate of OK for the party primary, he said. The aspirant advises colleagues to fully utilize the window of dialogue and reconciliation offered them by the leaders of the group and avoid playing into the hands of those who do not wish the party or the group the opportunity of producing the next governor in the election. Kazim went on the current conflict aimed at portraying the Unity Forum and its leadership in bad light is unnecessary because members remain as one family. No challenge should be, should be insurmountable to the group. The process that will produce OK was initially approved by all aspirants and the process was transparent. We need to set aside sentiment and work for OK emergence. The aspirant, a former commissioner for agri culture, however, cautioned the state and national leadership of the APC to avoid the reoccurrence of what has happened to the party in Zamfara, where the opposition was declared as winner by a court as a result of internal waggling and litigation among APC stakeholders in the 2019 general election. According to him, OK remains one of the only politicians in the state that can defeat Akere Dolo in the party's primary. So, my people, that's the news reaching us at the moment. Um, the kind of chaos that we're experiencing in APC is quite um, truly unbelievable. So, what's going on, even in a dose state, is replaying itself is in on those state. One well, of the governorship election is around the corner. So, feel free to leave your comment. Drop your comment down below in the comment section. And then we want to take this time to say a big thank you to everyone that have subscribed. We really do appreciate you. Please, if you haven't yet subscribed, click on the subscribe button down below. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up hit on the like button we really do appreciate you till i come your way again is bye for now and god bless